Hi guys, uh, Steve716 here. So just a little update on my um, cube that I purchased a couple of weeks back. Um, I've actually gone and sold it, so uh, I won't be converting that one. I mean, I, you know, I got 300, I got 300 pound for it. You know, so it's like 400 dollars, and it cost me 30, 30 pound. Was that you know, 50 dollars? I had to take it. You know, it's, uh, I had to. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, just one of those things. So. Um, I've still got it here at the minute. I've, uh, it, was in, it was in the uh, local bike shop for a uh, for a week or so, having the um, rear pads uh, sorted out and the um, front derailleur um, shifter was um, pretty solid, pretty seized up with grease. So they sorted all that out for me. And um, yeah, so I've uh, I've actually sold it, and I'll. Uh, I'll flick the camera around and show you the bike for uh, one last time and I'm going to invest that money in something else. I think I'm going to buy another cheap bike and also use the money to uh, convert it into an electric one so without shedding out any of my own money um, to, do the, to do the build itself. So it makes sense really, doesn't it? I mean, you know, if I can, if I can flip the bike and get a few quid out of it, then why not? You know I mean, I'm sure you guys would do exactly the same. So uh, anyway, I'll flip it around and I'll show you what I've done. So yeah, here's the Cube Limited Pro for one last time. So yeah, what it is, uh, I mean, everything is actually sorted on the bike now. It's, it's, it's actually, it's, it's, it's a cool bike, but it's absolutely faultless. I mean, yeah, the tires are a bit low, but that's about it really. But um, yeah, so this was uh, completely rammed up and seized and dis gunked right up with grease it was like solid like concrete so uh he's had that off and he's sorted that out for me so that's all uh that's all in working order now and um and i've got some new uh brake pads which were completely missing when i got the bike and the pin and the clip inside as well but that was all completely missing so um that's all good now that all works the, uh, the front brake was also binding, but I managed to fix that um, by undoing this little little nut here, little Allen key nut, and just releasing some of the pressure out of the system. So I just released some of the uh, hydraulic pr uh, pressure out, and this actually works absolutely fine now. No problems whatsoever. So yeah, that's all good. And the, the lock off for the suspension is all good, that all works. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to go. So, yeah, that's what's going on at the minute. The, uh, the Cuba Limited Pro is sold. So, uh, you know, I'll slash his hand off to be honest with you. And um, I shall use the funds to um, uh, invest in something else, another cheap. Hopefully, I'll pick up another one this weekend, you know, another cheap bike. May not be a cube. I might not be so lucky this time. You know, it might be something else. You know, something a bit, you know, not so good or whatever. But I'm not too bothered. Um, so just a little update on the two stealth bombers. Uh, what my three and a half weeks in now, and they're still not shipped as of yet. I have uh, messaged the company to see if I can get some sort of an update. Do you know what I mean? Just sort of bug them a little bit. See if I can push them along, you know, whether I will or not, I don't know. But I think uh, the more messages I throw at them, the more likely I'd think, you know, oh my God, this guy's getting annoying, we need to do something. So hopefully they will get shipped within a, a couple of weeks, hopefully. But uh, like I said, as long as I get them before Christmas, happy days. But um, anyway, guys, you know, that was just, just a quick update, really. And I'll, um, I'll catch up with you shortly and keep safe.